Hi, in this playlist we're going to be looking at factorising equations where we've got a coefficient of x squared. And this particular first one is going to be relatively straightforward to do just by trial and error, but I'm going to try to explain the technique that I'm going to be using on the more sophisticated ones. And the way that I do it is I multiply the coefficient by the last number, so I get minus 2. And then what I need to do is I need to look at two numbers that when I add them together will make a minus 1. Uh, that's minus x or minus 1x. Now those two numbers are going to be minus 2 and positive 1. Because if I add together minus 2 and positive 1, I get minus 1. And that's what I want for that. OK, now it's a case of rewriting this, and the way I'm going to rewrite it is I'm going to write 2x squared, so that bit doesn't change. And then I'm going to write minus 2x plus 1x. So basically this part here is actually minus x. So minus 2x plus 1x will give me minus x. And then I've got minus 1 on the end. OK, so when you've written that out, what you need to do then is look at the first two terms and factorise them, and then the second two terms and factorise those. OK, so let's write it out again. So I've got 2x squared minus 2x plus 1x minus 1. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to look at the first two terms and I'm going to factorise those for 2x because 2x is the biggest um, the highest common factor, if you like, of 2x squared and 2x. So 2x will go into 2x squared, and I can multiply that then by x, and it will also go into minus 2x minus 1. So if we look at that, what I've done is I've taken the first two terms and factorised it. So 2x times x will give me 2x squared, and 2x times minus 1 will give me minus 2x. Let's do exactly the same exercise now with the second two terms. So with the second two terms, I'm going to factorise those for plus 1. Because if I do that, I end up with x minus 1. Because 1 times x is plus 1x, and 1 times minus 1 is minus 1. OK, so hopefully you can see now that what I've done is created this situation where this term and this term are common. So therefore, I can now rewrite this as 2x plus 1 multiplied by x minus 1. I put that in brackets and there we are, that's factorised. Now I appreciate with this particular one, this particular question, you perhaps could have worked that out for yourselves uh, just using trial and error, but it's the technique that I want to get across. So if you follow on to the next video where we'll be looking at this particular question, I'm going to use exactly the same technique uh, for, to solve and factorise that question. I hope it's proved useful to you. Please do add a comment below if you're not sure, and I look forward to seeing you inside the next video.